Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org, help to support entry level to specialist course and today in this section we will talk about IT documentation which is right here. This section, this video will go under this section and we are going to specifically talk about IT documentation related to support jobs, any entry level jobs in IT like desktop support 1, 2, 3, help desk analyst, computer support specialist, IT support uh, whatever network administrator and all these type of jobs um, related to that you're not talking about project management we're not talking about vendors we're not talking about other type of documentations we're just talking about specifically when you're working in this field because it has to be related to the course so why is it so important to have documentation just a good example over here if I don't have any documentation for this course if I don't put these sections in order if I don't put videos under um, the same section so if it doesn't match let's say put, I put scenario under before you start or if I put scenario under advanced troubleshooting it won't make any sense and if I do it wrong like let's say I put it very I don't even look at it and I, st I start doing it you might you might figure it out but how much time is it going to take you that oh advanced troubleshooting is under help this operation so let me just take it and I'll just keep it in my mind I am going to do this right so you'll be the first person to do this and you'll figure it out after some time right by just getting angry at me that what did he I mean this guy's crazy or what so <laughs> you will figure it out but imagine if you have six more people like this and you're hiring them they're gonna come and do the same thing just like you so they're gonna go through it but it's just gonna piss them off they're not gonna like it so this is why documentation and documentation in the right way is very important for you to save your time to save your time being not repeating yourself to other people and when you have new people joining in with you they also have some type of documentation so you don't have to do this all over again you don't have to go from scratch zero to tell someone you need to do this that that all you have to do is to give them that documentation in in the um, this field um, this is why you know this course was extremely important for me remember if if you guys go back to my history um, I was working one day and my brother called me and he's like hey can you um, uh, train this person uh, he's a good friend of mine and uh, you know he wants to learn some IT stuff and I'm like sure no problem I was so excited I was so energetic I'm like yeah yeah let, let, let me just do this and when I started it I'm like man this is not easy this is not easy like the whole, all this stuff right here this is this can be done like this way I'm sorry it can be done it has to be documented it has to be provided in some manner that people can just go back and do it slowly but more efficiently that's how they're gonna learn and same way when you do your work and you when you're trying to install a software or something like that then you need to have documentation so let's get to it and um, where can we find some information about documentation and stuff like that now this is not a technical thing you don't you won't learn something technical in this and you know you just need to know the terminology behind what IT documentation um, does for you and why is it important for you to keep right documentation so what you can do is is you basically uh, if you want to train yourself with the documentation you can basically do this you can go to Spiceworks and my favorite site for IT Spiceworks and knowledge base right here knowledge base you click on that and IT knowledge base and that's kinda like Spiceworks IT knowledge base and then what it does basically when you install the knowledge on uh, Spiceworks you see right here it's basically giving you these articles recommended articles so it could be your topic by for your team or it could be from everyone so then what it the the whole idea behind this is this is documented articles so you basically go there and you, you know you click on the article and then you can share with other people look this is our job we need to do this follow these art fo follow this article and we're good so maybe you will create your own article step one step two step three something like that for other people so then you have that and in in Spiceworks they have that also like if you just go to Spiceworks and um, how to 
click on that and it's right here how to is right here so when you click on here let's say you're um, a system administrator or you are um, help this person and you want to install something like for example you are looking for email so let's go ahead and click on email so it tells you how how most of it is like how 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 to do this how to do this how to do this um, how to restore so when you click on it you basically get these steps method number one blah 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 the method number two blah 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 and method number three so you can see it's basically step-by-step -step documentation and this is something that you will be required if your company is kind of like you know uh, bigger companies they really care about this stuff trust me um, and if even if someone don't you really do this for yourself you need to make your own documentation just think about it if you're sick one day and you have to do something and your your CEO call you and 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 he's like you know what okay I know you're sick but this stuff has to be done you know I need to know how to do this and you can't talk you're coughing and all that and you're just like dying and what you can do over here is to save yourself from this day you need to create something like this step by step for a normal user like you're thinking that's gonna happen so then your CEO open this document and says step one method one okay you know I can do this one two three one two three one two three oh I don't know this part can you tell me what it is and then you can you know explain a little bit so at least think about it think about it that one day in your life you just wanna save yourself this is why documentation is super important now how do you basically train yourself with the documentation? To be honest, there's really nothing, um, there's not much to it. You can open any editor, you can open Microsoft Word and start doing these copy, like, you know, just do one method one, type something here, create a documentation. Now, if you really want to do some good documentation, you can always go back to the help desk course and write a blog. Write a blog, create something, let's say you install like a software and you think that this is something that you learn like an article that will help other people so that's kinda like you created a documentation and it helps our platform too by the way when you create these blogs and everything it really helps us so you create documentation like this or maybe you went to this section one of the section outlook emails and web filters and then you learn something in outlook you can create a documentation and we will put your example right under documentation so we will say this learner created a documentation and we give you the points how about that so we give you the points for that now that's awesome right this is what you call documentation basically in companies you will just do it with your other co-workers you will build documentation so then your co-workers it will be easy for them because maybe you're good in something you're good at one with one technology you're good with some software you introduce the software to your to your team members they don't they didn't know about it so they might not work on it just like you do but when you're sick when you're out maybe you leave the company this is where they're they're gonna take the advantage of that type of documentation and this is why it's so important um, uh, documentation for support so hopefully this video clears some idea maybe you didn't know about documentation now you know if you think I'm missing something drop it down into the comments so other people can learn from you thank you and I'll see you guys soon